back to all car news and I'm here with the facelifted BMW Z4 M40i and let's take it on a full tour and a sweet drive up on Bear Mountain in New York. Okay, everyone, welcome back. And this is the slightly face of the BMW Z4. This is likely going to be the last face of the before this model kind of ends its production run along with the Supra. It's just a car. And I think this mild little face of is really fantastic for the Z4. They really didn't change too much. There's a little bit of some minor modifications to the front bumper. But I think the Z4 was a really cool and unique looking um, sports car. From, and of course, if you weren't a fan of the design originally, you could always have gone for the Supra. Um, sorry for the wind today, guys. It's a little windy. But, you know, nonetheless, we have our stacked um, BMW LED lights that we've seen before, our slimmer, more traditional shaped kidney grills, nice power bulges on the hood, and then we have like the shadow line trim on the front end to kind of black out the grills and all the exterior trim. We have our nice BMW wheels here with blue calipers. We're running Continental Sport Contact rubber on this one. Love this nice, really strong accented vent on the side of the Z4 as well. Really has a nice dynamic presence. No M mirrors. This is in a full M car. It's just an M40i. This one also does have this really nice white leather interior with this really cool stitching going around it as well. Black fabric roof. And again, that really sweet looking design on the Z4. And it sounds incredible with this engine under the hood. BMW Signature in line six, really nice looking convertible. And I think it's a little bit underrated in the market. It's very comfortable, it sounds good. Handles pretty well for what it is as well. And it's said that we are probably gonna see this go in the next few years. Now since, now since this is a convertible, I don't really need to like, just like do a full interior tour for you guys. So I kind of just open the doors and check it out. So we have a nice big side sill plate with M40i on it to indicate that this is the M40i model. Again, that white leather continues on to the door panels as well. Really nice feeling looking in space. Coming inside, we have that aluminum, tetragonal, whatever they call it, um, trim inside. Looks really pretty nice. We have a stitched upper dashboard design and the older iDrive 7 unit. Pretty decent stuff in here. It's not a bad interior at all, but it's some older BMW equipment. Really nice chunky M steering wheel with the pedal shifters over here for the um, ZF A speed gearbox um, in the transmission tunnel over here. And we do have a little bit of some center storage for two cup holders over here. Kind of keep one of those little flaps open if you want the cup holder stuff. A little Z4 badge in there as well. We have a little bit of some storage back here. And of course you do have a trunk as well if you need to store stuff back there. A little bit of a little cubby over there as well. And again, this is all the older BMW controls over here, as you can see more physical buttons so none of the giant touch screen you're going to get on the newer bmws and you do have a heads-up display on this one as well which is pretty nice and well yeah I and mean, we have the harman kardon sound system but you don't need that as we, this engine sounds incredible so let's go take this on a drive now because i think that's what you guys really want to see with this z4 now i'm sorry if noise is a little loud today we do have the roof open and i'm going to keep it open because this is a convertible and it's meant to be open. And we want to hear that awesome, awesome exhaust note. So let's take this thing on a drive. I'm going to shut up for a little bit so you guys can hear the exhaust. Woo! Love how BMW does not have a soft limiter on this thing either. We are in Sport Plus mode, hopefully. Standard Plus. Yes, yeah, Sport Plus. And we're going to take this thing out on a drive. <laughs> yeah, this thing is definitely fun. And you can definitely have a lot of fun in this. <laughs> Too quickly sometimes. Woo! That engine. Oh, it's just fantastic. Especially when all that power is going to the rear wheels. You definitely have a little more play in the chassis. Okay, take a little bit of a breather for a second. Anyways, so Z4, what is it? So this is of course the famous Z4 that has been on a similar platform that was developed in conjunction with the new Supra as we all are aware of. This is a little bit more like an underrated offering. You know, the Supra doesn't come in a convertible and if you want, essentially want that car, if you can handle a different styling, a convertible it's essentially this now it does drive a little bit softer in some some areas so it's a little less as twitchy and direct as a supra that's just down to like certain little suspension and steering tuning and inputs but at the core they are pretty much the same vehicle same engine same gearbox same amount of fun at the end of the day um 
Inside, now I'm actually more used to this style of BMW gauges and instrumentation versus the new iDrive 8 systems and all that stuff. Nonetheless, it's pretty fine, honestly. I, I, it's all the stuff you ever need and want in a new BMW. <laughs> I love that there's still crackles and pops on the exhaust when you're upshifting and downshifting. I think that's a really fun feature. Woohoo! But you do gotta be in Sport Plus mode to get that going. And the Z4 handles well too. Especially on these twisties on this mountain pass over here. It's a fun car to drive around And a lot of these convertibles nowadays are going away So I'm, it's, I'm glad BMW is still making at least a two-seater Convertible, you know, the only other convertible they have right now are the 8 and 4 series and those are four-seaters This is a tiny little short wheelbase two-seater sports car and I'm glad they're still making it I'm gonna pull over here for you guys for a second so I can throw my camera onto the rear and we can get some real exhaust sounds for you guys to listen to, but I'm having a blast in this thing. guys i'm having too much fun with this z4 but to sum it up it's a fun little convertible and <laughs> i would definitely look at it if you're looking for a convertible that's has a great sound pretty decent handling and you're obsessed with bmws but anyways thanks for watching this short video on our z4 m40 plb drive and stay tuned for a lot more content coming soon from all car news Cheers.